Hi friends, oh, welcome back and thank you for watching. In today's video, we're going to be going over the introduction of nail art stamping and just kind of covering the basics. I had recorded this video before and when I was in the editing process, I had an hour's worth of footage, which is just absolutely ridiculous. But to be fair, the footage was filled with a lot of crucial information, so I figured it would be best for everyone if I condensed the videos down into a few separate videos. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So we'll be going over what stamping is, we'll get into details about stamping plates, stampers, and all the tools that is necessary in achieving this nail art technique. So I'm going to begin this series on my channel where I just do a bunch of videos covering basic things such as the introduction of certain nail art techniques, uh, the basics of how to perfectly polish your nails, how to manicure your nails, and things like that so you guys can always have something basic to refer back to if you ever feel like the type of nail art that I'm doing is a little bit too complex and you guys have perhaps have never seen that and are interested in learning more about it, you can always feel free to refer back to my basics playlist, which this is my first video, so over time I'll be filling up that play playlist with a bunch of information for you guys. It's always good to know the basics, right? So what is nail stamping? Nail stamping is a form of nail art that allows you to achieve a very professional looking manicure in the comfort of your own home. You guys, there are a ton of times I go out and people will stop me, will not like stop me like you there with the nails. No, it's not like that. But if I'm like at a cash register and she notices my nails, she'll be like, oh my God, your nails look beautiful. Where did you get them done? And I tell her I do them myself and they're always in such disbelief. Like there's no way you could do that and that's the beautiful thing with nail stamping it's like look at all these different types of images you can get these on your nails and it looks like you spent hours on your nails people will even ask me are you sure you did them yourself and they're not those little stickers i'm like nope i'm pretty sure i did them myself this is done so by transferring images from a stamping plate onto the nail with the use of specially paired tools such as a stamper specially formulated stamping polish as well as a scraper and of course your choice of stamping plates or plate shown here are different stamping plates and essentially all it is is a piece of metal with different designs etched into the plate now stamping plates come in a wide range of shapes sizes designs as well as price points it's important to understand that not all stamping plates are made equally and that doesn't mean just because one is more expensive it's going to be better versus a more inexpensive one. That is not the case because some of my more inexpensive plates I favor over my more expensive plates. Now what's really going to set one plate apart from another as far as quality is how well these images are etched into the plate. Now, usually you'd want to find images that have a good deep etching. That's going to allow you to pick up a very crisp and opaque image, and that's what you want. You don't want uh, a crappy made plate. And I have some plates here. This one. This one I believe is $1.99. This is from a brand called A Born Pretty Store, and they are absolutely fantastic. Sorry, I had a little slip. In the next video, I'll go more into detail about like different brands of plates and the actual dimension sizes of the images and just recommending plates that are going to be better suited for longer nails, shorter nails, wide nails, skinny nails, any nails. I got you, boo. Okay, so putting those stamping plates to the side, we're going to move on to stampers. Now, over here, I have three different types of stampers, and this is a tool that's going to actually allow you to pick up the image from the stamping plate and transfer that onto your nails. So the same as the stamping plate, stampers come in a wide range of different shapes, sizes, quality, uh, finishes some most well my favorite ones are clear like this but you will have ones that are actually opaque this one came in a little container because I bought four separate heads from this company and it comes with a holder anyways we're gonna be getting into more deeper details about the differences in stampers and what makes one a better quality over another but like I said this is just essentially the the tool that's gonna allow you to pick up the image from the plate and transfer that onto the nails. 
So shown here are scrapers, which usually come paired with the stampers, but for the most part, the scrapers that do come with the stampers are very cheaply made and just, I absolutely do not recommend them. I really wish I had an extra one of those crappy ones handy so I can show you what they look like, but I don't. So these are some of my favorite kinds. Again, in the next video, we'll go more into details about um, the different types of scrapers. Lastly, we have stamping polishes. These differ from regular polishes in the sense that they're formulated having a much thicker consistency versus regular nail polish. And they're more concentrated, giving it five times more the pigmentation of regular nail polish. I would recommend <clears throat> to use these for its intended purposes, being for nail stamping versus to actually just paint your nails due to the fact that they are very highly pigmented and they will perhaps stain the natural nail, which is not cute. On the market, there's a ton of different brands who carry stamping polishes. Again, not all are made equally, and this one in the middle being the most inexpensive one is actually my absolute favorite brand. Now, these are specially formulated for stamping, and it's not to say that regular nail polishes won't work. They just won't work as well, and that is even not entirely true because I do have some regular polishes that stamp wonderfully. It's just a matter of finding polishes that have a thicker consistency, preferably creams that are one-coaters, and will give a good color payoff. Now, the reason why stamping polishes are important and that they are formulated in such a way of having a much higher pigmentation versus regular nail polish is if you were to paint your nails for example black and you wanted to transfer an image that was let's say a pastel pink or a really bright yellow and you were using regular polish it wouldn't be as a as vibrant of a color payoff as if it would be using a stamping polish so that's that's the difference really so in today's video we've gone over what nail stamping is We've gone over the tools that you need. I've gone a little bit into detail, but my next video, I will be providing you guys a lot more details, a lot more helpful details. Like I said, I really wanted to condense these videos down so no one is sitting here watching me forever just blabbing on. So until next time, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys really like my idea of little basic videos and hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two along the way and learn some new fun and nail art techniques. Thank you for all the love that I get on my channel. You guys' comments mean the world to me and I'm just, I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. I do have two other recent videos, but prior to that, I haven't uploaded on my channel for about an entire year and I am so thrilled and excited to finally be back and just, I have so many video ideas lined up and I'm so excited to share them with so you guys. In the near future, I'm going to be hosting a giveaway on my YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that. It will be open for Canadian and US residents and it's going to be nail polish related, you guys, and you will absolutely love it. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video, and remember, creativity is at your fingertips.